the world's largest rainforest, the Amazon, spanning 6.7 million square kilometers, nearly 60% of it located in Brazil. Now using LiDAR, light detection and ranging technology, researchers are uncovering traces of long-lost civilizations. Beaming out a million penetrating laser pulses per second, the apparatus creates three-dimensional maps, revealing earthwork patterns previously seen only in deforested areas. And it's here at Brazil's National Institute for Space Research that a team of investigators sifted through LiDAR data and came to a most remarkable conclusion about just how densely populated the Amazon was. Very close to Amazonia. Geographer Vinicius Peripato has been leading the project for the past eight years. Uh, we are currently discovering that the Amazonia is not so pristine as people think. It can be much more human modified than we thought because we are discovering these huge uh, ancient societies that were living beneath the forest. While on-site verification is pending, the findings suggest at least 10,000 large, sophisticated pre-Columbian earthworks lie hidden on the forest floor. And there may be many more than that. They were such an organized group that they had a, a specific location to deposit the waste. And all this organic material concentrated in a specific place, they became uh, what they call terra preta which is much more fertile due to the organic composition. It is a striking discovery, and Peripato says that the black earth terra preta could be one of the main reasons the Amazon rainforest continues to sequester carbon. We are currently developing this hypothesis to analyze uh, uh, even the soil that could store more carbon than the uh, ordinary one and also the forest itself because you have much more shrubs, much more uh, subsoil that can lead to a more carbon story. It is an example of how indigenous peoples shape the forest with advanced planning and sustainable ecological practices that inadvertently could be helping to mitigate global warming today. Lucrecia Franco, CGTN, São José dos Campos.